follow. Right? Read it with the preacher remark if I read that. Micah 4 and 1. Yeah, man. Micah 4 verse 1. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and the people shall flow into it and many nations shall come and say come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and to the house of the Lord of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his path for the law shall go forth of go forth of Zion and the Lord and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Right. So it's completely contrary to the system where we have now. We have an unrighteous ruler, therefore the people seeing pursue unrighteous acts. In the kingdom, the Lord is going to set up the nation of Israel above all the earth. See, and all the nations then will come to Israel to learn what? Of the laws of the Lord. Therefore, they will be righteous. You see me? Well, the scripture said the law shall go, go forth out of, out of Zion. Out of Zion. Right. Mean wisdom shall go forth out of Zion. Can. So I saw the people I'm against, I going to understand what's right. Why enough to do this? Why enough right, to do that? Right. I have a, a righteous judge. Right. He say oh, in due time I'm going to set up one profitable over it, man. You Can. see me? You see, go back to the one. This, yeah. Yeah, man, this is um, Sirach 10 and 1. A wise judge will instruct his people right. and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Right, a prudent man is a man seen who makes wise decisions for the future, yo. So you say the government of a prudent man will be well ordered. Seeing the government of this man, the society is not well ordered, no. This, this is chaos, yo. See, why is it chaos? Because there are no defined genders in this society, yo. There's no definition. What them call now, them create what's called gender fluidity, right? So gender is no more a binary construct that is defined by by um by by a biology. It's now a social construct that's defined fluidly, right? So there's no more a definition of what a man should be. There's no more definition of what a woman should be and what a child should be. In fact, in, 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 instead you have an overflow in, from one gender to the next. Right? So there's no structure, no order in the society. So a woman, so like a, a woman wants to take on the role of a man, and a man wants to take on the role of a woman. So then you have confusion in the society. The children now get instructed about how to grow up and be who they're supposed to be. Right? Because the family structure is no longer there. Every, every um, home right now is a single parent home, majority of them. And the one that are not single parent home, they still not have the order in them, yo. Because a lot of the men are effeminate. So the women are making the decision, yo. Right? And even the men that are making the decision, they make the decision in their unrighteousness, yo. They don't have the laws of the of the about Shemi or Shai as the foundation of them choices, yo. Right? They might tell us, yo, be ambitious in this life. Seek after their car and a home and re, 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 and all these things. But no, yo. See, what about the Lord, yo? What about the fact that the Lord has chosen us to be kings? And priests, yo. What about the, the fact that the Lord has chosen us to be immortal, yo? What's the conclusion of the whole matter? Isn't, isn't immortality more than getting a car in his lifetime, yo? Isn't immortality more than getting so-called married, seeing, and having kids and them things, eh? Seeing, when you're not going to live to enjoy your kids, yo? Because by, by the time you, you work and attain a certain amount of wealth, so-called wealth, you reach in your 60s and your 50s, you can't even enjoy it, yo. You can't enjoy your children. Right? But in the, in the kingdom, where there will be immortality, no illness, you can enjoy generations upon generations. You know what you can do? You can see your, your seed become a nation, yo. What man can say that in this lifetime, yo? Say, watch him seed grow into a nation before him eyes, yo. That's what we're going to be able to do in the kingdom of heaven, yo. Watch your seed become a nation, yo. It's good to say that. A small man shall be a nation, yo. See? What man can say that, yo? Why, why, why you know, you know why that instead? That's true wealth, yo. We see a progeny and develop, yo. That is true wealth. See? If you have servants under you, because the scripture said that we're going, we're going to take the other nation for servants, yo. See? That is true wealth, yo. 
that is true peace of mind. So these are not the, 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 um, the foundations that our, that our, our society is taught. You're taught otherwise. You're taught the women are taught to be empowered. Sustainable yeah. So sustainable development, I'm calling. See, not knowing that yo, all the tenets of sustainable development were written by by who? The United Nations, yo. All the different the different goals, so, so called Vision 2030 goals that Jamaica is pushing, was written by who? By by, by the United Nations, yo. The whole push for a national identification system. The whole push for a digital economy. See? The whole push for, um, for, 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 for so called global um, sustainable development and, and protection of the environment and everything. It's all, about, it's, all about, it's all about what? Entrapping the people, yo. Hey, the same thing is, as we go along the vein, eh, you have this, um, this push for demon, to the, um, take away paper money yo, or physical currencies. See? And everybody, them following along with it and them say, alright, here what? This, this sounds like a good thing. See, because it it, it that'd be more convenient. Oh. See, so I mean I have carry no cash and everything, I mean, just yeah. swipe and go. You see me? And you're being sold on the convenience of it, but you now see the flip side. You now see the fact that because everything is now digitalized, seeing, then it's easier for you to be tracked. It's easier for for for, for your um your everyday matters, seeing, to be to be um what you call it already now. Monitored. Uh, um, so lucky, okay. One day I do a video for my RT we we'll come out for RT where um, one of them on the run off um, WikiLeaks and come out and I say right now this generation is going to be the last generation to be free. Right? Yeah. So the generation that will come after, everything with them do is going to be monitored. Right. It starts from them parents that put them, put them, them image and them information on Facebook to all of them applications and them insurance things with them deal with. So that for sure, so no matter what you do, you are going to be monitored and all of them smart here where you get created all around the world, man. Right? That's, that's why there will be no more generations, yo. This is it, yo. This is it. Because imagine, imagine, I mean, this is only good fitness all the time. I mean, I'm, I'm a teacher, so this is only good fitness. And the level, the level of um, disrespect where I grew up with, the level of confusion where I grew up with, seeing, the, 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 you're, you're, you're free to see them grow up, yo. You're really free to see them grow up. So if this generation so messed up and so far gone from truth and righteousness and morality, what we say the generation with them are raised, yo, seeing there will be no truth left in the land. So there will be no more generations left, yo. This is it. You see me? Because going back to even the um the digitalization of, of the world, seeing we all use social media. We use apps and stuff like that. You see me? Let me give you a simple example. If you're, if you're on YouTube, you create a YouTube account and you watch certain videos, you like certain videos, after a while YouTube will start to suggest content for you because you have an algorithm that learns seeing the things them that you are interested in. So therefore, YouTube now creates that personality profile of you and then can sell it to advertisers. So advertisers then can advertise to you while you are searching the web because of that profile that was created by YouTube. And it's not just YouTube. You go on Instagram, it's the same thing. Facebook, is the same thing. Seeing all these different social media platforms, seeing have an algorithm that reads the different things that you like, that reads your habits, studies your habits. So what you have is a person, uh, um, a social media um, um, personality that's created online, you know, a digital portfolio, yeah. where them can sell to advertising companies, you know, and know everything about you. Yeah. I mean, I watch a, um, one video from Big Data, one at a time and I believe it was Walmart them, them hire one data scientist to come in seeing and them say how can we know seeing that how can, how can we know that certain um, of our customers are pregnant seeing before they, they, they actually start buying them things so we can know say so we can start push them things in the ILM you see me so I'm saying alright him create a thing you see me him create, him create an algorithm we study them shopping trends. You see me, from when they buy the pregnancies to when they start buying other things that pertain to mat um, maternity. You see me? And a 16 year old girl starts shop along the trends with suggest that she's pregnant. So you know what the Walmart do? She have an account with them, so the Walmart send her automatic emails. Seeing suggesting maternity uh, um, products to her. And her father read the email. 
And her father go to the manager of the Walmart and he raised hell. Seeing, saying, why is Walmart pushing these things on his 16 year old daughter? Seeing, pushing her to become pregnant. When, when he go home and check, his daughter was actually four months pregnant and he never knew. You see me? So Walmart knew just by what? Her shopping trends, yo. So she never even never tell them, say, yo, she's pregnant. So this is the, the society where we are growing in, yo. Seeing, where your everyday move, seeing, is tracked digitally and um, studied by an algorithm, yo. Digital footprint. It's them called that digital footprint, yo. Right now, seeing, Big data is to, the, is to the point where so the idea of big data is to collect as much data as possible on a particular um, subject or on a particular scenario so that you can predict the future actions of the scenario. For example, you have in a big cities, see, you have um, sensors on, on, the, on the road. You see me? And the sensors track the amount of traffic that flows throughout the day. You see me? So you have an algorithm that reads all of this and can predict in the future when there will be a build-up of traffic along a particular roadway. Uh, so, so you can study the movement of a particular city in, in mass so you know exactly how an whole, a whole city moves as one. That's one thing, that's a movement. Next, seen, you can, you, you can say, alright, we're going to study one particular demographic. You see me? Everybody in Chicago between the ages of 18 to 25 we are going to collect them on social media usage We are going to see the type of videos where they watch The type of memes where they share The type of posts where they put up The type of parties they go to The type of education they have seen And through that, they can create a, a, a whole profile for that whole demographic And say, this is how people between the ages of 18 to 25 think in Chicago And say, alright, here we need to change the perception of the people um, um, Let's say, um, in relation to, to cigarettes, we need to change what they think about cigarettes. So you know what they know? They say, all right, this is what the algorithm suggests. So they say, push certain campaigns onto your social media profile, certain videos onto your social media profile. And then when you start, you realize that your opinions start change little by little by little. You see me, you have um, a movie there where they move the movie them again, uh, branded. You see me, good movie. And at the beginning of the movie, everybody start eating healthy. You see me? And the fast food restaurants were going out of out, out business. They were going bankrupt. And they hired this media, um, this, this publicist, this media publicist specialist. And they said, Yo, I'm going to make, in, in, in two to five years, I'm going to make everybody, not two to five years, two to three months, he said, I'm going to make everybody start buy um, fast food again. And this is what he do. He start a reality TV program with this fat girl. We are going to undergo plastic surgery in order to become thin and beautiful seen and then of course you know reality tv them them, them broadcast every every um, stage of the of the operation so from them just meet her you know them interview i'm interviewing our family and you know our um, our co-workers so you fall in love with her and you're on the journey with her you're emotionally invested in what you see me and then now on the night of the surgery them release so-called release or leak a video of her Crying to the camera saying that she doesn't want to go through the surgery anymore, she changed her mind. You see me? And she got through the surgery the next day, and some complication makes she dead. In the surgery. And then, them, them pierce some agent provocateur to go out and protest and say, This is what society is doing. Pushing people to change their natural fat cells and go to slim cells to be loved. See? So, they must say, Love your fat cells. Be proud of your fat cells. So you know everybody start to buy fast food again. So they, what them do? Them change the whole perception of the, of the society just by that social engineered process, yo. Uh, and I saw and I see them so they might do that to the society, yo. Uh, and people don't know that, yo. A perfect example. Uh, we grew up in a, in a, in a Jamaica, yeah. We, when we grew up first in them usually tell you, we are born Batman for all our life. Right. right now, every TV show, everything we are watch. It's the bottom of the So they're they gonna get more what? sensitized to right. the people. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, you know, we people don't really think on a big scale now. We, we, we only see what in front of me. You see me? Give me um second friend that's what they left. We only see in front of me. You see me? So, you know what the UN do? I'm sorry, Ewa. Jamaica is a very homophobic country. But Ewa is a big tourist destination. We need 
it changed the thinking of the Jamaican people.